Katie Collie loves Cubby Bear, Bear very much, even though Cubby did not listen to her when she told him not to go to the beehive. You have people who love you too. Can you think of some people who love you? Parents, grandparents, friends, brothers and sisters? I know someone who loves you even more than anyone else does. Do you know who that is? It's God. Let's learn more about his love from our special book, the Bible. Open your Bible to Romans 3.23. The Bible tells us the truth about God's love for us. God loves each of us, even though we have all disobeyed God and sinned. Remember last week's lesson? We learned that A is for all. Can you say last week's verse with me? All have sinned, Romans 3.23. Do you remember that a sin is anything that we think, anything that we say, or anything that we do that disobeys God? Because we have all sinned, we all deserve to be punished by God. Being punished is when you get in big trouble because of the bad things you have done. The punishment for sin is death, but God loves us and he chose to do something for us because of our sin. One day, when the time was just right, God sent Jesus, his very own son, to save us by dying on the cross and being punished for us. What do you think of when you see this picture? Jesus was born as a tiny baby. He didn't have a warm, soft bed or cuddly blankets. He had a manger for his bed. A manger was usually filled with hay for the animals to eat. You were a tiny baby once, just like Jesus. But you didn't stay little for long, and neither did he. He grew and grew. As a boy, Jesus loved to go to the temple. The temple was the place where people went to worship and learn about God. While Jesus was in the temple, he told the teachers many things about his father God. They were surprised at how much he knew. Jesus was very special. Remember, he's God's son. That means that Jesus never ever sinned. He never disobeyed his parents and he never fought with his brothers. As a man, Jesus showed love to all people. He loved the oldest grandmas and grandpas, the moms and the dads, and the tiniest babies. Jesus was happy to have little children near him. He loved them very much. Many people loved Jesus, but some men did not love Jesus at all. They did not believe that Jesus is God's son. These men hurt Jesus and put him on a cross. Jesus is God's son. He could have stopped the men, but he didn't. Jesus chose to die on the cross for our sins. He was punished for us so we wouldn't have to be punished for our sins. It was hard for Jesus to die on the cross, but he did it because he loves us very much. Do you see this C? The C stands for Christ. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. After Jesus died, his friends put his body in a tomb, which is like a cave in a rock. Jesus, his friends were very sad that Jesus died. The soldiers put a large stone in front of the opening. Three days passed. Can you count with me? One, two, three. I'm glad this is not the end of our true story. On day three, Jesus came alive again. His friends were so happy that Jesus was alive. They praised God and told everyone, Jesus is alive. Soon it was time for Jesus to go back to his father, God. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told his friends that he would come back one day 
to take us all to heaven to be with him. Those who trust Jesus as their Savior, who believe he died on the cross for their sins and came alive again, can one day live in heaven with him. Heaven will be a happy, safe, and more fun than you can even imagine kind of place. We will love and serve Jesus there forever.